for those of you who have been following my blog, you probably are aware of the Campbell gasket. The advantage of using the Campbell gasket is that it allows the electrolytes and the gases to travel out of the cell and in and from one side of a plate to the other without any holes in the plates, thereby allowing your dry cell to operate without any current leakage. This is a 40 mil material, the shower pan liner. This is the center. The gases are allowed to go through the side, the edge of the plate, of, of the gasket. And I've used this shower pan liner for shower pans. Um, and when gluing the edges up, this uh, this glue uh, glues this material very, very well. I mean, very strongly, just like uh, PVC pipe. And uh, so I'm very comfortable in, in how strong this is going to be. Um, I, I actually don't even need to uh, glue these. I, I've used these gaskets before and doubled them up before, and they seal against each other just fine. But it gets my attention here to make, uh, to make an entire gasket so that when I build myself, they'll go together quickly and uh, easily. So there the gases come in and out this hole, bypassing the edges or any holes in the plate. There'll be a spacer gasket that spaces this material to where the next Campbell gasket goes on top of this. The holes line up and the gases and the electrolytes come in through the sides again. and. Uh, fairly certain that this is all going to work very smoothly. So the next time you build a dry cell, I hope you'll use a Campbell gasket. Because the Campbells pass gas like no other gasket can.